we're, we're just so excited to have you guys here, all right? So we're looking for something to do, especially, you know, with the weather being so cold. Why not stay indoors and check out some amazing local art? We have Andrea, um, Adriana Afford from Halifax, Argyle Fine Arts. And with this morning, we have the artist, which I can't wait to tell everybody about this. We have Andrea Krause. So we are talking about the exhibition called pre -Shunk, and it describes as the biggest small show of the year. And so many of us have been coming out here and looking at these pieces absolutely amazing so tell me a little bit about the show and what can people expect yeah well this is actually the 16th year for this little show yeah and the idea of it is that everybody creates works that are all the same dimensions that's the only kind of rule okay so they can't go bigger no nope, four inches by five inches Ooh, that's a and task. all the pieces are priced at the same amount so oh, we really? do a jury show and uh, we look through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of images and we can only really take a few actually so yeah. we, got, we looked at over 900 images this wow. year we've seen 900 it's works of art. bigger and bigger yeah and our gallery is really really big so we, we have a little over 300 this year that's amazing but every medium every style and artists from actually all over canada this year i'm so excited i love yeah. going down to your studio and yeah. just taking a peek at everything this one okay we have other pieces from other local artists but andrew these are the two that you created i thought paint they're not they are not paint. Tell me about <laughs> them. That's unbelievable. We were all blown away. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's amazing. Sure. Yeah, these uh, these two little guys are uh, created using paper. So magazines that you might normally just throw away. Yes. Um, I kind of comb through them and try and give them a second life. So just looking for some interesting colors and textures to, uh, to make my art. You cut little pieces out and you're able to create these beautiful works of art. Okay. <laughs> I know that takes a lot of time. How many, how much time would you say? It, put it into takes that? a lot of time. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of evenings, a lot of weekends. And, uh, wow. I think, I think each one of these was about a month, a month. Oh my yeah. goodness. It looks like painted and it's not, I can't get over it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Do you find it a therapeutic though? It, it certainly is. It's definitely uh, a form of meditation for me. Like my, uh, day job is a little bit on the stressful side okay. so it's a great way to just um, chill out at the end of the day i love that yeah. and why would you say it's so important to support local artists and have shows like this uh well this show in particular is a lot of fun for a couple reasons um it gets it has almost like a community kind of feel yeah um artists get to meet one another but oh. it's really good for like um, new collectors. Yeah. Uh, it's it's affordable. I know 175 is still you know it's a lot for a lot of people, but it's really wonderful to own an original work of art. And I think once people do that, they they kind of get addicted to it. Yeah. Like look at all these different pieces here. I feel like you really find something for you that suits your personality. Do you know yeah. what I mean? If you were to come in and kind of explore, we have the maple leaf here. We have a little fox. These are local artists as well who design yeah. these. Yeah. There's lots of different mediums here today too. Um, there will be a lot more in the show. Mm -hmm. There's text style, there's beading, mm -hmm. uh, there's resin art, uh, wow. generic painting, um, oil painting, all sorts of stuff. These ones are kind of neat, actually. These ones are by an artist by the name of R.J. Marshall, but he actually made them so they actually look like books, books. which is kind of an interesting take That's on so things. That's cool. um, so cool. There you go. This is a piece on copper, which yeah. is kind of neat. I've got to um, say, how long does the show go until? It goes until the 18th of February. So plenty of time to get down there and really take it all in. Andrea, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what you create next. Such a talent. Thank you both so much for coming and coming in in this cold weather. This perfect excuse. Go check these pieces out. One of a kind. Look at that. It's so cooking. I can't even draw a stick person. This is amazing. <laughs> that cooking makes me very hungry. <laughs> Morning, Morsi TV Morning Live coming up after this short break. Don't go anywhere.